Shalom, this is your brother Shamak. I have the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. Shalom, I'm talking to sincere brothers that's pushing, teaching truth all around the world. And Shalom, I'm talking to sincere listeners and you sincere believers. Okay, here with this article uh, from CNN, credible source. All right, of the of showing that this country is falling, man. This, this this economy is collapsing right before our eyes, and this is all Bible prophecy. Okay, this is all Bible prophecy, man. These times were, were already predestined to happen. Okay, all right, and we we prophesied to these times, man. To what prophet prophes prophesy meaning what to say before. All right, so we we said these things before they actually happen. All right, and it, you, and you see it here, and we'll wait to see. What what happens within you know within the economy or what happens surrounded around this date? All right, we'll see. But this 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 the fact of this article coming out in itself is showing you that this place is finished, man. This place is is truly done. Okay, all right. The Lord is truly plaguing this place, man. All right, this place is waxing worse and worse. America is through. Okay, this place is coming to an end. All right, simple as that. Okay, it's not rocket science, man. Okay, but this is from CNN. And the title, the title of this article, as you see here, U.S. government will run out of money by October 18th, Treasury Secretary says. All right. And this is from where? Look at the date. Tuesday, September 28th, 2021. All right. So this is this is this is up to date, man. This is recent and this is happening right now. And we'll see, you know, we'll see where it goes, man. We'll see where it goes. But like I said before, hey, just the fact that this article is coming out in itself shows you that America is falling. This economy is about to collapse, man. All right. It's about to collapse, okay? So let's see what this article goes into. It says, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned lawmakers that the federal government will likely run out of cash and extraordinary measures by October 18th unless Congress raises the debt ceiling. And I grab an article just to explain that debt ceiling as well because I even had a question on that. You know, I'm like, what do you mean by the debt ceiling? All right? But, uh... Continuing on, is in a new estimate from Yellen raises the risk that the United States could default on its debt in a matter of weeks if Washington fails to act. A default will, like, will likely be a catastrophe, taking markets in the economy and delaying payments to millions of Americans. And, uh, it says it is uncertain whether we could continue to meet all the nation's commitments after that date. Yellen wrote in a letter adding pr the projection is based on estimated tax payments. See, but it says the warning comes hours after Senate Republicans blocked a bill that would have suspended the debt limit. OK, and you see it says going out of business, man. This place is really going out of business. It's truly happening. America is truly falling. You know, it's, it's not any way in any political, uh, politically correct way to say it, man. America is truly falling. OK, it says yelling caution that the October 8, the October 18th deadline it's only an estimate because the federal government's cash flows are subject to unavoidable variability. She noted that the government daily cash gross cash flow, excluding financing, averaged nearly fifty billion per day over the past year and has even exceeded three hundred billion. It is important to rem remember that the estimates regarding how long our remaining extraordinary measures in cash may last unpredictably shift forward or backwards so this this date can go from october 18th to october 1st or from october 18th to november 1st i mean it, it can you know it can it can fluctuate man all right that's why i say we'll wait and see what happens man but these these are exciting times that we're in okay and it's these and these and these articles and such come out like these should show you that we're where we're at the end man we're in the last days okay don't don't sit here and think that this is about this world did the, the, the operation of this society is about to continue on forever and ever no, this is it, man. All right, the Israelites are up next. Okay, the Israelites being you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Our rulership is up next according to the Bible. Thus said the Lord. All right? It's not about what we think. It's about what the Most High says, man. All right? But it says, Yellen wrote, This uncertainty underscores the, cri the critical importance of not waiting to raise or suspend the debt limit. The full faith and credit of the United States should, should put at risk. All right? So this, I wanted to grab an article from New York Times. That explains the uh, debt that debt limit uh, just you know quick quickly. It says what is the debt limit? It says the debt limit is a cap on the total amount of money that the federal government is authorized to borrow 
to fulfill its financial obligations because the United States runs budget deficits, meaning it spends more than it brings in through taxes and other revenue. All right, so the, so that's a this that's that's the politically correct way of saying America is broke, man. All right, it spends more than it brings in. Okay, does Esau, the so-called white man, allow us to do that? Hell no. All right, but in a way, he does through you know borrowing loans or whatnot. We're spending what more than we will bring in, you know. And it says it must borrow huge sums of money to pay its bills. <laughs> it says that includes funding for social safety net programs, interest on the national debt, and salaries for troops. While the debt ceiling debate often elicits calls by lawmakers to cut back on on government spending. All right, it says lifting the debt limit does not authorize any new spending. And in fact, simply allows the U.S. to finance existing obligations. So they, basically, America is just trying to stay afloat. You know, America is simply just trying to stay afloat. Man, man, this place is falling. All right. This place is simply falling, man. And the scriptures go into these such things. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 7. All right. Like I mentioned before, Babylon the Great, man, is a miracle within the scriptures. All right. This is Babylon the Great. So that so that, that means in these last days, it's going to be a nation. It's going to be an empire. It's going to be a kingdom that is great, that is above uh, the other nations. And what, and what, what place uh, will bring you to that characteristic? America. All right? But this is Jeremiah 51, verse 7. Prophecy, man. Prophecy of these times right now. It reads, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. And how did... And how did America, Babylon the Great, make all the earth drunken, man, off their off their philosophies, off their principalities, you know, off their ways of off their ways and traditions of life. You know? Got the whole world celebrating Christmas. Got the whole world, you know, uh supporting homosexuality and these such acts, man. All right, drunk. They're drunk, man. Okay? Got the whole world investing into America. Drunk. <laughs> it says the nations have drunk enough for wine, therefore the nations are mad. All right, these nations are mad because what? America owes money, man. Damn, when I wanted to bring up the uh, how much America's in debt. Uh, let's see if I can get U.S. debt, the debt clock, or you know, just to, just to give a just to get a quick number. It's about twenty eight trillion, if I'm not mistaken, twenty eight or thirty trillion. See, you see here is look twenty eight, look yeah twenty eight trillion, man. U.S. national debt. All right, so the country's in in, in debt, man. And you see the in the uh, scripture speak of these such things with Habakkuk chapter two verse six when it speaks upon that thick clay that's going into debt. All right, from the so-called white man. All right, these nations are mad, man. These nations are pissed off. All right, so let's get that uh, back to that Jeremiah fifty one. I was going to verse eight, and it says Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her? Take bond for her pain. If so, she if so be she may be healed. Verse 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. And these are just the first signs of, of, of Babylon, the great America falling, man. Okay? Through the economic collapse. Okay? And it says, and let us go everyone to his own country. So these other nations about to, and this, this could be being fulfilled right now. All right? These nations could be dipping out like, hey, this, this place is finished, man. You know, the, the, the shutdowns and the, the economy, the lack of jobs, you know, this and that happening. You know, it's a lot going on. These places, this, some of these nations in, in these uh, are just going back to their homelands, man. Going back to China, going back to Korea, going back to Japan, going back to Europe. All right, going back to Africa. Shoot, you know, it says we have we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone to his own country. That's what I just mentioned. He says for her judgment reacheth unto heaven. And it's lifted up even to the skies. And the Lord is seeing all these such in these great wicked acts that, the, that America, Babylon the Great, is, is doing. All right. It says, The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord, our power. All right. Zion being what? To Zion in the Hebrew. We're, we're a memorial. Speaking upon the Israelites, man. Okay. Our power. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is only for the Israelites. Simple as that. Verse 11. Make bright the arrows, being those missiles, all right? Because what's, what's on the way for America? Therm thermonuclear destruction, all right? That's what's on the way for America, man, according to the Bible. It says, gather the shields. These are acts of war. It says, the Lord have raised up the spirit of kings of the Medes, being those Russians, man. The Lord's about to, the one of the main countries are in the main lands that the, the, that the Lord's about to use are those Russians, man. That's why, they had that, that's why the Lord allowed them to have that great military and that great might as of right now. Speaking great things against America, you know, it says for his devices against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. 
Verse 12. Set up the standard upon the walls of, of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes. For the Lord had both devised and done that which he had spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. So these scriptures have already foretold of what's to come to this place. So it's about to happen, man. It's about to happen right now. And that brings me to uh, 2 Ezra. Let's get 2 uh, Ezra chapter 6. All right. Because that article itself is showing you that this place is through. And many may wonder, okay, so what's next? You know, what's so what country is going to take over next? And in, 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 in the news and in today's mindset of those that are in the world may look at China as a as the next up and coming country to lead the world, you know, due to their te due to their technology and due to their advancements, due to their intelligence, due, their, due to their resources, due to their labors. All right. But that's not the case. All right. This is the case. Second Ezra chapter six, verse seven. Then answer I and said, where shall be the parting asunder of the time? So Ezra's. Israelites seeing the visions of these last days, man, and it was wondering these questions of the visions he was seeing through the angel Uriel. All right, he's asking for under, for the understanding. All right, it says, or oh, what shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Verse eight. He said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau. All right, Jacob is the forefather of the of the, of the Israelites, are the twelve tribes of Israel, and Esau is a forefather of the of you Edomites, are you so called white people today? All right. It says we're born of him. Jacob hand held first to the heel of Esau, showing that symbolism, man, referring to the Genesis chapter 25, okay? Verse 9 says, for Esau is the end of the world. Who is in rulership right now, man? A so-called white man, okay? And we're seeing the fall of his economy. We're seeing the fall of his main country, all right? It says, for Esau is the end of the world. And once America falls, what do you think is going to happen to the rest of the world? It's over with, man. That shit is dead, all right? It says, even though America has debt, man, the America is, is upholding these other countries as well. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, so Jacob being the forefather of the Israelites, what does that mean? That once Esau, once his, once his society falls, man, who's up next? The Israelites, all right, through the return of Yahweh Shai, all right? That's where you would have the elect, the 144,000 being that new government that is going to last forever and ever. No more death, no more sorrows, man. That's what's up next, man. Okay, that's what's coming. Okay, and this to get more prophecy according uh, concerning, you know, this uh, economic collapse. Let's get down to Zephaniah. All right. Oh, it's locking. I'm all the way down. This is Zephaniah chapter one, and I grab verse ten. Okay, Zephaniah chapter one, verse ten, and it reads, "And it shall come to pass in that day, showing you that it's referring to these day to these times in these last days right now." It says, and it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. All right. Why is there a noise and a cry at the fish gate, man? Because those are merchants, man. The buying and selling the operation of this society is about to be put to an end because of what? These, like, like the article just mentioned, run out of money, they, they, you know, the delayed payments, the taxes, this and that, all these different factors. It's about to be a cry at the fish gate, man. People, it's about to be a great struggling upon all of us, man. All right? But it's prophecy, okay? And I want to grab that word merchant. Salaki. Let's see if it mentioned, um, so, you know what? Let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's get that word merchant just because, uh, let me see, verse 18, 18. Let me get the word merchant, all right? Just to go more into that, that fish gate. This is merchant. It says one engaged in the business of buying commercial commodities or selling them again for a profit. So that buying and selling that operation in this society, that's why it's going to be a crime. Man. It's, it's going to be a, a lack of that. You know, it said to trade traffic deal in. See, all this is about to be put to an end. You know, all this is about to be put to an end. That's why it's going to bring in what the economic collapse is going to bring in what the MOTB, you know. Let me also grab that 18 right here. Okay, Zephaniah chapter 1. You know, I'll get 14 real quick. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hastily greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. All right. So, hey, the great the day of the Lord is upon us, man. A great trouble. All right. Thermonuclear missile. World War Three. Okay. The MOTB. All right. Which I'm going to touch on after this scripture, man. This is this is all about to go into the return of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. It's a day of destruction and, and great travail. 
upon the earth. You know, a lot of death and destruction is about to take place. And those words don't even, those words can't even, you know, give you a, a, a greater picture enough. These people are about to just have to see it along with ourselves, man. All right. Then we just, we just hope that we're not a part of it and that we're being up into those chariots to watch the judgment take place. Okay. But this is Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 18. Neither their silver nor their gold, all right, this currency, your, your money, even, the, even though the U.S. dollar is, is fiat currency, is fake currency, it's not backed by gold or anything, all right? It says, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by fire of his jealousy. So that's why I mentioned thermonuclear missiles from those chariots as well, all right? It says, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land, Okay? Hey, so a hey, a lot is about to take place, man, and this is going to this economic collapse. You know what? Let me get Ezekiel real quick. Gotta grab Ezekiel concerning the economic collapse real quick. This is Ezekiel chapter seven verse nineteen. They shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. All right, so that's why it's important to not for these people not to put their trust in the damn 401k, to not put their trust in their bank accounts, all the flashiness and proud, you know, uh, videos on on the on the media or the internet, all the you know the money flashing and whatnot. That's not that stuff is not gonna be able to to save your life. You know, that's not gonna be able to cut it. You know, you may be able to rejoice and be happy for now in that, but that's not gonna be able to save your life. What's gonna save your life is your faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that's what and that's the message we try to get across. To our people, but what the love of money, you know, the, the root of evil is the love of money, man. They, so the people that have that that itch or that just attachment to to chasing that dollar, you know, is really a stumbling block for for them not repenting and turning back to how about Shmuel Shai. But it's all part of prophecy, okay? But it says it says uh, continue on says they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity. That's why I just mentioned hey, this is a stumbling block to our people, man. All right, these jobs, the money, you know, the 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 the, the fake, the facade, luxury lifestyles. This, hey, this, this is all, this is all, man, <laughs> bullshit. You know, it, it, to, to put it plain, for the lack of better words, you know, I'm gonna grab Revelation chapter 13, verse 11, because people may ask, okay, so what's next? What's next if if all the money gonna run out? You know, because people don't when the articles and such come off like that, they don't. They, people, these people don't think it's gonna happen. But that's why, you know, it just has to happen to show people that you got to see the You got you gonna have to see it the hard way. You just got to see it the hard way. All right. So this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 11. All right. Going into what's coming next, man. All right. And it reads, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. That beast going into America, man. All right. Because it, it has that same that same system. As a, as the beast before, man, they were they were the revival of the Roman Empire, okay. And it says it says uh with that same system being those the patricians and those plebeians, the same as you have it today with the 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 uh the Democrats and the Republics, you know. And it is two horns like a lamb, you know, coming off innocence, but what speaking as a dragon, all right, which dra draconian measures, man. With being harsh legislation, they're harsh laws. If you don't if you don't take the thing, we're gonna take you off. We're gonna Take you out the army. You're gonna, we're gonna take you out the hospital. There's no more health care. We're gonna take away your jobs. You know, you people know what we're talking about. You know, verse 12. And he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast who deadly wound was healed. And how is it? How is that wound healed, man? Okay, even though Rome, the, um, the Roman Empire was destroyed, all right, is living now through America. That's how it was healed. Okay, through his legislation, through the spirit. Okay, it's been saying this saying it's, it's still there. It's the same that these empires are still carried out by Edomites, Esau, the so called white people today. All right, verse 13. And he do a great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. You know, through that, through their, uh, you know, Esau loves to brag about their military might, you know, through their, you know, their uh, dropping bombs or whatnot. They love they love, they love these great wonders, man. These are great wonders to our people. That's why these people think they they think themselves to be in a good case, man. Oh, nothing can can beat the 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 American economy. And if we do run out of money, we just bully the other nations. But hey, the Lord is about to put the spirit on these other nations to shoot thermonuclear missiles over here to America to destroy them, according to Bible prophecy. 
No stopping it, man. It's guaranteed to happen. All right, because the scriptures say so. And it's Revelation chapter 13, verse 14. He deceived them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles through what? Technology, man. All right. It says, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. And that beast of the, the, of the revived Roman Empire is, is NATO, that North Atlantic Treaty Organization. You know, as it started off as a what? Economic, as a uh, European Economic Community, EEC. All right. It says, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. Which had the wound by a sword and did live. So it's living now, man. Because what? The image going to that likeness. So it's like the Roman Empire, man. That, that same, those same characteristics, you know. And it says, verse 15, he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause at, that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And that goes back to backing up that lamb speaking as a dragon. Because if you don't get down with the system, if you don't comply, if you don't consent to their rules, there will be consequences. They're going to be they're going to be tortures. They're going to be, you know, uh, evict. They're going to be all types of such things happening. They're going to be consequences for you're not for you for you not abiding by their by their uh, by their draconian harsh measures, man. OK, verse 16 says that he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. So that's what this economic collapse is about to bring upon the MOTB. All right. You having to take the RFID microchip, you know, it says verse 17 says, and that no man might buy or sell. And so think upon think upon that definition with the merchant on the item online. Ain't going to be no operating. All, no, you it's, it's going to you only going to operate unless you have that thing, man. Unless you have the MOTB, that Karagma, that RFID microchip, man. It says and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay. And it says, um, verse 18, it says, here's the here's wisdom. Okay. So that mark going to going into the RFID chip. Okay. The name of the beast, which is, which is NATO, all right, Euro, the European Union. Okay. It says in the number of his name, which is going to be given in the next verse. It says, Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of man, and his number is 603 score and 6. Okay, and that number uh, in the Greek going to Chi Sox Stigma. And I, I'm going to end it off with this article here. Shoot, if it let me grab it, which it says ridingthebeast.com. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see what it goes into. Let me go down, let me go down. Karagma. All right, so it goes into the word karagma, all right, which is the word mark in the Greek. It says a badge of servitude, graven, all right? It says means to sharpen a point, or the crux means to sharpen a point where you're going to, the, to go into a deeper root of the word karagma, okay? And it's also describes a stake. So that shows that it's, this is something physical, all right? This is something that's going to be graven into your body, all right? Biometric technology, it says what? To sculpt or carve and grave, to stamp and press deeply, fix permanently, all right? So this is something that is very... Evident upon the horizon, man, upon the economic collapse. And I wanted to go down. I wanted to go down. Let me see if I can go down and find. Yeah, there you have it. Kai Sai Stigma, 603 scoring 6, 666. Okay. And let's see if it um, touches on a few uh, definitions. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. It goes into. Let's see, it goes to stigma. All right, let me go down. Let me go down. Let me go down. Let me go down. All right. Mm, there we go. It says, even though, look, look, it, it hits the point. It says, even though the uh, the Kai and the Zai haven't carried into English like stigma has, they still provide some insight into the mark. Kai is depicted as an uppercase X, okay? And they're going off with the other part, you know, with that with that part. But Kai depicted as an uppercase X because what? X marks the spot, you know? You got to relate this thing spiritually for those that can X, that can receive that, you know, can, will understand, you know? X marks the spot going to that foundation, going to that preparation, you know? And then with the, uh, no, the Kai, you no, know, it's like it, the Kai, man. Yeah, yeah, Kai, like I said, but in the side, all right, let me go up some. 
it go it it gave a picture. I wanted to find the picture of what it showed with the, for the psi. All right. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, they said the psi being that serpent like it was ready to strike. You know. If I, oh, found it. There we go. It says the shape of psi is it is written in Greek shares as a close likeness to a curled up snake ready to strike. So you look so think about the syringe, man. You know, think in the article mentioned the syringe in this in the, on this uh website as well, man, riding the beast.com. And it breaks it down correctly. You know, can't even be mad at the at the website. It breaks it down correctly. You know. Oh well part of it. Well part of it, you know. But it says it says a snake ready to strike. Stigma also resembles a serpent that is cored and ready to strike. This is another hint to Garagma as the bite of a serpent. All right. But it goes to stigma already at the beginning. Let's see at the beginning. Uh, and stigma is straight to the point, though. All right. Yeah, stigma is straight to the point. Let me go up some. Well, stigma is right there in the scripture. So let me grab. Let me go to uh, the blue letter and just grab it out of uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 18. All right. And I end it off here, man. Cause that, should, that should bring home the point. Uh, what's to come and what's next after this collapse, man? This is what's taking place. Okay. Let's go down to that uh, 66 and let's go to stigma. D55. Go down. Let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go to prick. Oh, it goes back. It just goes to the number. It goes back to the number. You know, let me go back to the website and find it on the website. All right. But it ultimately, stigma goes into that prick, man. Go into the pricking. Okay. Let me go on down. It says the stigma. It says, yeah, it goes. So it says it's carried the meaning of mark, dot, puncture. Or it says, a, or generally a sign. See? It says a mark from a pointed instrument. See? See, the stigma goes right into it, man. All right, it goes direct. So that chi, chi side stigma, that chi going to X marks the spot, that preparation, the side goes goes into the uh, that action or that 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 uh, that going to the that uh, about to you know the, about the stick, okay. And then the, the stigma is a, is actually that pricking, man. All right, all right. So that preparation, you got you got you got that preparation in that in that sticking, man, cutting into the flesh. You know that's it's about it's about to be physical, man. All right, that's what's about to take place in these last days. Okay, that's exactly what's about to take place, man. And then, and this was this was this was up next. You know this is what is up next, man. So that foundation cutting to the flesh, and then the, that stigma going to that, that 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 physical pricking. You know, and that's and that's the wisdom and the operation of what they're doing today. You know, fool, fooling the people, deceiving deceiving the people. Okay. Into taking into taking these uh such, you know uh things or medicines or I, w- I must say, and that, and that's that's just what's happened simple simple and straight to the point. And it show you that it's physical, man. All right, and, and these are the visions that John on the island of Patmos saw, and that he, that he saw that shortly must come to pass. These must shortly come to pass. All right, and they're happening. And it's happening right now, man. It's about it's about to definitely take place due to the article of what um. Through CNN, man, of this of what the U.S. government running out of money by what October 18th, and we'll see, we'll see what happens, man. But hey, this is all Bible prophecy, and it's happening right before our eyes. And so, Lord willing, you know this lesson was a, a edifying, exhorting to you, sincere believers, and to to wake up, you know those lost sheep that still trust and have hope in America, man. This place is through. This place is finished, and it's falling fast. All right. So I'm gonna end up by giving all the glory, if in the praises of two. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, or Hakudash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well. A shalom, keep the faith. A shalom.